Okay, next I want to talk about how to use custom fonts in a mobile app using React Native. When you build your React Native app using the Expo CLI, you also get installed something inside your package called Expo. So this is already in there. If for some reason you don't have it, you can do npm install or uh, yarn add to install it, but it should already be here, especially if you used React, uh, sorry, Expo to build your React app. You did Expo init and then created this app. Inside my default page, all I've done is I've added a little bit of text here. So I've created three text fields. I've got a state property called got fonts. And I need this, I need some variable here, which is going to be a Boolean, to let me know when the fonts have loaded. Because the fonts aren't pre-compiled, I have to load them. And there's going to be a little bit of time before the app, or between when the app starts and when the fonts are ready to be used. So for that reason, um, we would have to reload the text at the point where the fonts are loaded. This one, this is showing the default font that I have on an iOS simulator. I don't want to use this for the other two fields. I'm going to actually bring in a couple of other fonts. I have these saved inside my assets folder. So here's my assets folder in my project. Inside of that, I created a folder called fonts. You don't have to, it's just a good way to organize things. It doesn't have to be inside of assets, but again, it's a good place to organize it. Inside of fonts, I have downloaded a few different fonts. I downloaded uh, Anton and Open Sans and Josephine Sans from the Google Font site. And I can show you inside of here. This one has one TTF file and Open Sans has a whole bunch, all the different variants. Now, how do I get these? Well, if I jump over to the browser, here's the Google Fonts website. Now, to download any of these so you can use them, these are all free to use. So let's say I wanted Montserrat. Okay, I'll click on plus. That adds it into my families here. I'll delete this other one. Here we have the Montserrat. Here's the link for the CSS file. So in the browser, this is what you would use. And if I loaded that, we can take a look here that they have a link, a URL that we can use to load the font, but I don't want that. I want to actually download the TTF fonts. So the download right here, if I click on this, this is going to download a zip file. It's a zip archive, and you can see if I download it here, I can open it up. This is inside my fonts folder. Then I would have the Montserrat fonts. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. I've already got my fonts downloaded to save a little bit of time. Okay, those are now downloaded and expanded. So I have the two fonts here, the Anton regular, and I'm gonna use Open Sans regular, those two TTF fonts. And those are the ones that I'm gonna use here. And you can see in my text fields, I set up a style property where the font size is 36. And I'm saying font family is Anton, font family is open. So these are the names that I'm going to use to refer to the TTF font that I'm going to load. Okay, we need to have from Expo, that's why we had to have Expo installed, there's a package called font. And we need to use that. So this is from Expo. This is the package that's going to let us load the fonts inside my component did mount. Now remember that this is the one that runs after the page has finished its initial loading. This is why we have to wait. I'm making this into an asynchronous function. So inside, I'm going to use await, and then I'm going to use inside the font package that we imported here, there's a method called load async. We can load assets this way. So I'm going to load these two font files, and I'm going to give a name to them, which I can refer to down here. So font load async takes an object, and inside of it you can put one font or a list of fonts if you want. Most of the time you're probably only going to be loading one, but for this demo I'm going to do two. So I want to create a property called open. That's going to be one of my fonts, and it will be require with a path to the font and then I'm going to create one called Anton which again will use require to load the path to that font. So from here I'm going to 
assets. And this is a string, so I should have quotation marks around it. So assets, and then into my fonts folder. So assets to fonts to uh, Open Sans. That's my folder name for the first one. Open Sans, and these are case sensitive. And inside of that, I want the font file called Open Sans dash regular dot ttf for anton that is the one called assets slash fonts slash anton slash anton dash regular dot ttf okay so there we have our two fonts now because i'm using async and await I could wrap this in a promise is another way to do this. That's effectively what this is doing. I need to wait until this function has finished running before I do anything else. After it has run, then I can call this.setState. And inside of setState, I'm going to change my got fonts from false to true. There it is. Now down inside of my content, inside my view, I'm checking. If this is true, I'm going to write out this. If this is true, I'm going to write out this. So let's save it. And there we are. So our first one right here, this is the default, the default font that we get with iOS. The second one is using Anton. Anton is pointing to that TTF file. And then Open Sans, the final one, using Open, which points to this Open Sans regular.ttf file. And that's it. That's how you load and use custom fonts with React Native. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, I encourage you to go and experiment, try different fonts, make sure you can get this to work, and have lots of fun with it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.